Yo. Oh, we got another commentator in here. I wasn't planning on commentating unless like a second person came in here. What? Not can't hear me? Uh no, I just didn't uh hear you. I didn't catch you. Uh I don't think I was gonna commentate unless like a second commentator came in here. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> And that will be the first warm up, and this is a uh, Laplanta's, you know, custom made warm up map. Cool. Ten seconds long, banger. Laplanta versus Poyo. Yep, this is a winner's bracket match. Between Laplanta versus Poyo. Laplanta being the 4th seed and Poyo being the 29th seed. Best out of 9. First of 5 win. Best out of 9. Now we're gonna have a. Oh, hey, Kaiju. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? <laughs> nah, he just typed in the chat. Oh, I wanted to say it. Sorry. Hmm. 
banger warm up goddish. Did we pull this? I, I don't remember. Ah, uh, I pretty sure now. It was ranked March 29, so you may or may not. <laughs> you may or may not see it. I'm not even watching here. Been watching the Twitch stream, not your Discord stream. Oh. Skill shoe. Sorry, I just woke up. It's 8 a.m. here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like content and match to uh, wake you up. Yeah. Oh yeah, my bad cartoon it. Just got done looking through qualifier stats between two teams, and out of all the the mods, uh, HR2 is uh, Poyo's uh, best map against La Planta. But if La Planta did their research, that's a possible ban from them. But yeah. in the other uh, slots, uh, like Nomad 2's a toss-up, a pretty good match against Laplanta, and Nomad 3 is a is a contender. But other than that, Laplanta kind of beats them in all the other slots. So, uh, but it's a different star rating from qualifiers, around 32. So, uh, it could be uh, different than what uh, qualifiers suggest. Yeah, still fairly low star rating, so it could be a more even playing field. Yeah, to be fair to Tatsu, his his score is not that far off from the other score on Flash, right? By the way, uh, the people, the players you see on screen right now is actually all... It's all La Planta, so uh, you don't actually oh. see any of the Poyo uh, players on, uh, on stream right now. And that's good. Oh, you can hold 40. Items. Oh, you didn't hold 40.
since it's around the 32, I think there's still only one ban. Yeah, it's only uh, one ban. But yeah, if uh, Laplanta plays her cards right, they're probably gonna ban HR2. Uh, and it looks like they're gonna replay a warm up for some reason. Because they forgot no fail, I don't know why that matters. Yeah, I don't think that matters. <laughs> they should just go on with them. Oh. Okay, they're playing it again. Oh. No worries. <laughs> I mean, if everyone allows it, it's fine. Oh, Laplanta's playing their, their custom map. Oh, alright. Alright, it's only 10 seconds. to see an FC. This is a uh, god tier mapping right here. There you go, and three notes gets you a 300,000. Oh, it's probably combined. Alrighty, now time for rolls. Alright, not too bad. Picks and bans. Someone had a zero miss. Whoa. With D rank accuracy, poggers. And I'm yeah, with right. that roll right there, that pretty much decides it. No way. <laughs> 99 points. There's only one, one number that could beat that. Do it now, roll now. <laughs> if I see a, a 100 roll, I'm just gonna screenshot that. It's, go it's going on on Reddit. Oh, that was close! Oh, 97? No way. That'd be funny if, uh... Ikaino, uh, rolled first with the 97. And yeah. then Flat Paper just came out with the 99. But it looks like Laplanta is gonna have. Uh, it's gonna be able to choose the ban or pick order. So pick first according to Fat Paper's kitten. Alright, and whoever chooses the pick or ban order, uh, I'm assuming that the other team just picks up what's uh, left, which is ban. Or to be wrong. No, oh, okay. Wait, your name on Twitch is Squink. That's so sick, actually. <laughs> Sam, that's such a sick name. I 
All right, and Poyo is gonna have the the first ban. Uh, I imagine they probably like. Let me look at stats again. But yeah, I can imagine either like banning like a hidden two, and they ban hidden, hidden one hidden actually. One. Almost close, but yeah, hidden one will be banned. And I can only guess how LaPlante is probably going to ban Hard Rock 2, unless he had something other in mind, like one of the free mods. <laughs> I can see free mod 2 being banned just because, of, like, if they have guys. Oh, no, mod 1's banned. Interesting ban, but. It's actually not that surprising since in qualifiers it did uh didn't do too well on no mod one. And yeah, the bands will be out of the way and now it's gonna be Laplanta's first pick. Uh I kinda can see like a no mod three being picked. Or a hidden two. I hope Nomad 4 gets picked eventually. Nomad 4? Is that the Kanye song? Yeah, the one with the pee pee. Oh yeah, Def definitely need Kanye in our lives. Yeah, either I see like a... A hidden two being picked, or even no mod two, but that's a little bit more of a toss up since Poyo does uh, rank pretty good on no mod two. But they do decide to go hidden two with the well, low AR pick. This one's just a matter of being comfortable with the AR, it's nothing too crazy. Me personally, I do not like anything under uh, AR9, so... And you just add hidden on top of it, I'm like... I just can't play. I'm the complete opposite. <laughs> yep, yeah, totally different skill sets with me and you, but... This is a banger song, so... Yep. So I can live through it. It's kind of an upbeat song for an AR8 though, not gonna lie. Yeah, it makes it slightly a bit more dense, but not really. Because usually you'd see low BPM, low AR. But just the slightly higher BPM makes it a bit harder. Planta, we're gonna have Asquink and Tattoo versus Aka Inia and Kai for his first matchup on Hidden 2. And with the ref playing the MP start command, we are about to begin the first map of the match. So far, it's uh, looking quite even, just slight axi diff in favor of LaPlanta, which will obviously change, but early break from Kai, break. this will be giving LaPlanta the early combo lead, but it's not too much of a combo, and with Squinka missing right there, it's gonna go to Poyo's favor. And Kai does find another Ooh. miss. A double miss, yeah. Yeah. 
and Kai just can't seem to hold any combo right now, but we're so, still pretty early in the match, but it's only a two minute map. So all these breaks are definitely gonna count when we get towards the end of the song. Yeah, just struggling to keep combo. I can't really see the UR bar, but I think a lot of those misses just came from tapping too early. But he does eventually find a, some groove. It's only a 50,000 point difference right now, so it could go either way as we get towards the last quarter of the map. Oh, there's a break and from Kai Squink. Does find another and, miss and, so, can, and so does Squink. So, kind so of that's right the now. only one with combo. And Kai does find another miss, and I think this first map is going to go to LaPlanta, winning their own pick. Very decisive pick from LaPlanta, gained 200,000 score lead on Poyo. Yeah. I'm guessing they didn't just have a second guy to play this uh, NM2 or maybe it's his I'm hidden 2 but like or it's his it's not his style of hidden 2 maybe it is 185 BPM you can look kind of I mean there wasn't really the bursts were only like triples and doubles so it doesn't like look very dense or anything yeah the rest of the guys could go though like above 500k. Oh, one miss from Tatsu there. So it's Poyo's pick now. Uh, if if I'm basing out of qualifiers, I may pick a Karak too. It's my best guess. Or Nomad too. Oh, best of nine. Mod, if you're watching the stream, that's it. It's best of nine. It's best of nine. Oh, wait. DT three pick. DT three. Oh, banger song. It's basically a, another HR two. Not gonna lie. Oh, uh, is it like kind of like smaller circles? Yeah, it's CS five point five and AR ten. That's so. <laughs> I don't think I. I know like DT3 is kind of like a niche pick, but I don't think I've ever seen like a... Oh, interesting. I uh, think they didn't pick. Okay. Yeah, it's a bunch of sliders. A bunch of fast sliders. But not not slider spam at least. Like, not, it's not tech at all, but it's a bunch of sliders. Looks like uh, the client does want to load the song. I may have to restart this. The stream? Not the stream, but uh, the the client since it doesn't want to change the song. Oh, all right. One second. There we go. There we go. Alrighty, it looks like uh, LaPlanta does have one sub, a uh, sub dot swing for a flat paper kitten, and Poyo sub in uh, Aka Enia. No, it, uh, Kai was subbed out for. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, uh, serious? Out for serious. That's his might be sight reading. Ah, uh, then it's gonna be the sight read buff from Tats, and I will think uh, this is you know, like your niche uh, map. It's probably not gonna. 
Koi and Laplante. Yeah, it's not favorite. good. Like <laughs> the the slider velocity is kind of ridiculous sometimes here. I honestly have not seen the map pull, but usually with DT threes or your niche picks, typically don't want. You'll see here. Sight reading. And with those small uh, circles, it makes it harder to aim the sliders too. And when you have the the slider speed mixed in with uh, not too much uh, wiggle room, could make for some brutal slider breaks. But it does look like Tats is holding out pretty well, and Cyrus is gonna find the first break. Oh, Tats a breaks again. And oh, but we got breaks from almost oh, breaks. every player after their Actually, everyone. one combo. But Laplanta is still holding the lead by seventy thousand. And this map is also not that long. It's only about two minutes and ten seconds. Right now, Laplante is still holding the combo lead, and with Swing dropping right there, this could give Poyo a, ch a chance to take this back, but Cyrus oh. does find a break oh, right nothing. at the halfway of the map. And Laplante is approaching a 200,000 score lead right now, and at this point in the match, it's Probably Laplante's win. Poyo just does not have the combo or the accuracy to match Laplante. And this was Poyo's pick, so Laplante is going to get the first break point. Yeah, Laplante is just more comfortable here. And this is a sight read from Tats. And he, he does ma manage to get a better score than both players on Poyo. A zero miss though from Ikaini. Ikaini. Oh wow. I don't know how to pronounce your name, sorry. Alright, next pick going to Laplanta after that 2 0 lead. One. And then four. Just pick it, man. Uh, we could just find a Nomad for Kanye. Ikenia. Okay, thank Ikenia. you. Ikenia, okay. Thank you, Cartoon, for the pronunciation. I would not have guessed it. Oh, Ikenia. Ikenia, there you go. Ikenia, <laughs> there you go. I and I'm four, yeah. There we go. Banger Kanye map. They probably picked it just because it's Kanye. At least I would. Yeah, I would. So this is gonna be the tournament where every every weekend we're gonna find a Kanye song. That'd be weird. I mean. To be fair, there there have been a shit ton of Kanye songs that have been ranked, maybe in the second quarter, because I remember like just in the past month there's been three map sets of Kanye. That's what we'd like to see, I guess. Gain that popularity for some reason in Osu. Yeah, no, because 
I think people just learned how to time Kanye songs because they're not they're not just one BPM sometimes. Even if it's like electronic, like hip hop. And just I haven't seen any of the math, ball, but just listening to the music, I can definitely see how I got math as text for No Mod 4. Oh, you haven't seen this map yet? No, no I haven't seen any of the map, ball, to be honest. Okay, no, no one tell him. Oh no. I'm afraid. How much do I not give a fuck? Let me show you right now for you give it up. All right, well, Ponto is subbing in TGR and Swink, and Poyo is going to be summoning Hanikawa. Now I can't wait for you to see it, man. <laughs> Live first I, I reaction. I some, some slider spam, but we'll see. I mean, so far from what I see in the beginning, first five seconds, nothing too crazy so far, but... Easy season approaching, fuck whatever y'all been hearing, fuck what fuck whatever y'all been wearing, a monster about to come alive again, soon as I yeah, pull up in park, the man, we'll get this bitch in my park, the scene, take my number and lock it in, Indian here, no more. Three of them were hitting that though. Yeah, so far we get, oh uh, well, I, I can't yeah, just find a, a slider break, this would be giving a bunch of the combo lead. Oh, and both players break. from Lafonte to find breaks, and Poyo is still holding. I can hear this kind of break, holding. but Hanikawa is still holding the combo. And, and Hanikawa does breaks find before a drop, the break. unfortunately, right before the free combo section, it seems like. And a huge tempo change catching Hanikawa off guard. Right now, there's still some hope for Poyo to take this back. Still got about four to the map left and only 50,000 points separating the two teams. Oh, he almost broke on the penis slider. But TGR does find a break right after it. This could give Poyo the chance to take this back. But I can need finds breaks on what I would think were pretty easy sections of the map. There's kind of a lot of finger control at towards the end. I'm assuming right. And I think I was holding well. Unfortunately, I don't think there is enough map left for Poyo to take this point, unfortunately. And this will be making the score 3 0 in favor of LaPlanta. Two one misses from Squink and Hanikawa. And look at that accuracy from Squink 97%, highest ac in the lobby. Yeah, really, really solid. Three of Spoyo's pick. A lot to pick here. If if we saw DT3, we might see HR2. I'd say the best bet is either one of DT picks. Uh, LaPlanta is a little bit uh, based on qualifiers. It's not too strong in DT, but I'd say the closest matchup would probably be Nomon 2 for Poyo. Uh, yes, congrats to Poolers for... This is definitely a... Uh... Good you're, job, you're... Poolers. <laughs> VDC, yeah, yeah, Cartoon the Nights, Poolers, the only... Yeah, I only gave out like one song, while uh, Cartoon Night, I think, did everything else. 
I mean, it's... <laughs> oh, that's why I saying it. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> I mean, like, for, for sure, you have to pull his props. I only have a certain amount of maps to choose from. Yeah, that's true. I, I Fighting Night, like, spends a lot of time looking through every single map. And Poyo will be choosing Nomad 3. You already know if it's from Yasobi, it's gonna be an uh, old pick. But with the limited amount of maps uh, players have to choose from, they always seem to like pick bangers. It's actually because like a lot of mappers have been bang have been mapping bangers, huh? I was about to say, a lot of mappers are banging, but... Both are correct. You actually don't see a lot of, like, anime opening maps these days. I mean... I mean, to be honest, the second, like, a new anime comes out, Sona is already mapping the... Yeah, the but it's not like before, where it was, like, four map sets instantly. Okay, we have TGR and Tatsu for... La Planta and Ikenia and Sirius for Poyo. TGR is gonna be fine in the first breaks. Yeah, bit of a low axe start from him. Yeah, 87%. This is gonna be giving Poyo a pretty huge lead early on into the map. TGR breaks again. It's really a Everyone call, holding pretty well. But, you know, this. This is definitely what Poyo needs to gain some sort of momentum on the Planta. Because the next map that the Planta wins, they'd be forcing Tiebreaker on Poyo, and they would have to win every map up until Tiebreaker. But so far, Poyo looking strong, and TGR finding some random misses. They seem to always be on the space burst. And the Only that he now at the combo. Ooh, yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't Nia dropping combo. And so serious. Tad Swift's the only full combo so far. Slowly and this, moving. And the score is going to go in LaPlante's favor. Yeah, it switches over really fast. holding combo they're gonna find a huge lead but he finally does find a break oh a chain 50, miss almost 40,000 separating the two so Poyo Soul has a chance to make a comeback I can it's gonna be a Ikenia bit having the highest combo right now could give him the chance to take this point but there's not that much map left and does not have a supporting combo but with both breaks from LaPlanta the lead is gonna go to Poyo oh it shifts very last minute win, but a win's a win. And Sirius does find a break, but it may not matter with Ikenia holding combo to the end. Well played by Poyo. Super close match. Yeah. Two 400 combos from Poyo while Tate had a huge combo. It's just TGR couldn't hold for a bit.
And now that Pickett's gonna go to La Planta, they have a lot of good, strong options for them uh, to win against Poyo, so. There haven't been any HRs or free mods that have been picked yet. I would think that Poyo pro is probably holding off HR2, maybe, because that's that is their strongest uh, pick against Laplanta. So they're probably saving it for any contingencies if uh, Laplanta does find a match point. Are you like free mod one here? And this is kind of expected, but they do end up picking HR2. Maybe they just, uh, I guess in qualifiers, maybe they weren't on their best game for HR2, but, but yeah. Yeah, maybe they saw their win on DT3 and decided to try HR2 to see if they could get that one too. Oh, there's another Snyder map. Pretty funny. 2022 mapping, am I right? I mean, uh, no surprise that uh, HR2 is also a banger. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. Like, a, lo a lot of mapping right now is pick a song that's really fucking good then just slap a bunch of sliders on it. Why not? This uh, kind of slider Spanish. Okay, so flat paper skip and goes in. And uh, you see it, another pants from Hanikawa. I can hear. Uh, I believe Iconia hasn't, like, not played a map. I think uh, Iconia has played every map so far. You have the MP link? Do you want... Oh, uh, you need the MP link? Uh, no, not, not really, but... Oh, wow, he got timed out. Cartoon I got timed out for sending the link. That's unfortunate. I think it's because the Dan put the high set up a uh, night bot. He set up a uh, no links or something like that. Oh Dan, first he set up like verified accounts only. Now this, <laughs> yeah, that's true. All right, I guess since I'm a moderator, I'll I'll put the MP link. Once I uh, get a hold of it. Hey, everyone's holding, I think. Hanikawa struggling with the pack. Hanikawa's gonna oh, be the first one to find a break. And so does Tad, so trade breaks. There's an act this right now, wow. 78 for him right now. Yeah, with uh, that exit from Hanikawa, forget combo. Well, Fonda's just gonna take. Uh, run away with this. But if Todd does find too many breaks, it could prove detrimental to him. It is a combo game after all. And Flat Paper oh. does find a break, and this is definitely what Poyo needs to take this back. Regardless of the accuracy dip right now, combo is king. And Hanikawa is doing everything he can to keep the combo. Oh, oh and Flappy also finds another break. Oh, and Ikenia does <laughs> find a break, and this is not going to be looking good for Poyo. So about halfway through the good. map, though. Right now, Kava's not even, but LaPlanta has so much accuracy over Poyo. And 
as we get to the free combo section, uh, there's not going to be enough map left for Poya to take this back, it seems like. And with Hanakawa losing the highest combo um, in the lobby, I think that's going to be it. And with this map, it's going to be putting LaPlanta at match point, forcing Poyo to win three more maps. Yeah, match point for the Planta. Regardless of the result, well, you can keep their heads up because there's, uh, it's not a sweep at least. I think Nia had the lowest amount of misses and the highest combo. But it's the two A ranks that separate them. Would have been a tighter match if they had to actually to a uh, match Laplanta, but it just was not there. And HR2 is supposed to be based off qualifiers in Poyo's favor, but I guess not. To be fair, I think the HR2 in qualifiers was a TV size HR2. That makes sense, so any break was just gonna crush your score, whether it be a shit miss or not. And Poyo is gonna be going with the DT2. Laponta's um, DT is not Laponta's strongest mod, but they have ranked higher in qualifiers than Poyo, so we'll see what, what what comes out of this. Hello, is it serious or serious? Unless uh, he corrects me, I'm just gonna go with uh, serious for now. I think it's been almost per Malawi, while I came here, this will be the first time uh get subbed out. Serious. Alright. Thanks, man. I believe you are correct on that one. This will be the first map so far that I came here has not played. And apparently uh, Tats is a speed god. We'll see, we'll see. But be fair, takes, it's a hard uh, diff. But it takes two to win sometimes. Yeah. I call a fine multiple breaks so far in the first and seconds of that. Oh wait, what's happening? Did they abort this? Uh, I was Might be problems with the keyboard. Oh, mouse buttons are on. I was Poya. Pro probably a Fortis map. It's not, uh... I think that's fair to... It would be fair to avoid this. For sure, but they have to ask because for it, though. it is within the first 10 seconds. Yeah, it does rule say either first quarter or the first 30 seconds of the map? Yeah, maybe my I saw it. He was that, pressing. They may have aborted. Yeah, they ended up uh, aborting it. Good call from Poyo. That'd be a, a terrible way to lose a match because Laplanta is sitting at match point. 
Yeah, that's true. I've, I, and I did see him pressing on the mouse buttons. If it were off, it wouldn't be activating. Unless he's been a he's been a mouse only player this whole time. Mouse buff, mouse button buff. Wouldn't have those problems if uh, you were a tablet player. I mean, if you drag, you can still hold on to the. Actually, no, I don't know. I'm a mouse player. I don't know how tablets work, not in LA. <laughs> I mean, at one point, everyone's a mouse player because I don't think every <laughs> I don't think there's anyone who started Osu with the tablet. You never know. There's some people that start with a touch device. Oh, like connecting a tablet to Osu? No, oh, like the people with the touch screen laptops and stuff. And it got still missing early though. Yep, and Laplanta having a huge accuracy lead. Each with 97%, which is about 3 to 2% over Poyo. And both holding full combos so far. Right now they're gonna be finding a very strong lead early on into the map and the swirly already grew to a hundred thousand over Poyo even if Hanukkah didn't drop early in the map there's still be a little trailing behind due to accuracy alone But one break could really uh, change the map though. Everyone really consistent so far. It's really the start of the map that tripped up uh, Boyo. That's where they found pretty sure all the accuracy drops and Cyrus does find the break oh. with a core left into the map as long as Lafonta holds they're gonna be taking this match point Unfortunate mispick for Poyo, but it will cost him the match. And if a high collar drop yeah, right there, that pretty much seals the deal. Crazy. Double FC unless I cursed it right now. Strong, very strong okay. curse. <laughs> yeah, nope. Yep, and we got... Yeah, two the, FCs! Yep, 2.2 million points coming out of La Planta. Both of very high like, What do you do too. there? <laughs> you just have to act better, but like... Although Poyo's wow, kind of doing it from the start GGs. of this map, just due to accuracy alone. And with that, LaPlanta is going to be advancing to winner's bracket to round of 16. And Poyo is going to be dropped down to the loser bracket. And starting next week, they will have to play a two match every weekend to advance and win both those matches, of course. Yeah, both teams played well. Just uh, LaPlanta was the clear um, winner from the start here. These to both. Thanks for 
thanks to Cartoon Night for the uh, thing. Uh, thanks for the stream, Chief. All right, and thank you for joining in on the comment <laughs> for commentating. Oh, there's gonna be a silent stream unless you uh, join. If you didn't join. Yeah, that's crazy. I literally just woke up and I saw a stream. Yep, I. Well, you got. Thank you guys for playing and good. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, you good, you good. Alrighty. Alright. Okay, good luck to both teams. To La Panta for winners and to Poyo for losers. Unfortunately, this is the first and last stream for this weekend. Uh, I haven't seen any other streamers pick up any matches. Unfortunately, I work all day, so sorry for the density of streams coming out. But that's just how the cookie crumbles. But yeah, that will yeah, conclude the stream. Right. Uh, congrats to uh, Laponta for advancing, but Poyo's tournament. It's not over yet, as they still have a whole loose bracket to get through. But yes. Alrighty, I'll catch everyone later. Bye. Good day.